is going on guys, Real Thoughts Gmail here back with another Game Maker tutorial and today what we're going to be doing is character customization. That is right, so you can actually get into a game, customize your character and then you can play the game with that character. So if I go ahead and run it now, I've actually done this before I started, started it up here. But as you can see, you can switch out parts of your character, you know, you have the head, the shirt and the pants and then you can play the game or whatever you whatever you would have with it now usually you would probably make this a menu you wouldn't have them swap out in game but I mean that's all up to you and your mechanics for the game so uh, that that should be pretty easy to actually have them swap out during uh, like a menu system or whatever so I always hated tutorials where they actually had it done and then just went through the code I actually kind of like to work with them uh, this download will be available or this file will be available for download so you check the description for that and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and explain all of it alright so up here I have three sprites I have sprite head which has three image indexes sprite shirt three and sprite pants three and now these are all 75 by 53 please note you want to make them the same and then not center the origin this is going to be easier when you actually piece the pieces or the head and everything together all right so let's go to the object player here it starts off with no sprite and i actually set in the create event head to equal zero shirts to equal zero and pants to equal zero now you can make these global and put them into a controller or something so when you switch levels it's got the variable saved or something this is just how I did it so head equals zero shirts equals zero and pants equals zero now in the draw event what I've done is I've created switch statements so basically if it's head or the variable head if it equals zero then it's gonna draw the head at image index zero one and then two see right there and then I did the shirt and the pants I mean it's pretty simple uh, now with the shirt I actually changed the Y value so that it it's a little bit farther down than the head because you know typically a shirt is below the head so that it, it looks like a shirt and then same with the pants that's all just debugging process and finding out what values work with what and then in the step event here it's pretty easy all you have to do is if keyboard check press or Q head minus minus which means that the head variable right here will subtract so if it's two it'll go to one uh, if minus minus or plus plus doesn't work for you you can always do minus equals one because minus minus plus plus that's new to studio I believe all right and then I just have a basic movement keys here but that's basically it this is gonna be down for download and also one quick thing you're gonna want to set up a mask because there's actually no there's no sprite here so there's gonna be no mask it's not gonna have any collision so if I ju you just make like a black box that goes around typically you know your your player and everything and then the mask right down here click that sprite now that's going to set the collision box for our player all right so that's it go leave a like go and subscribe this will be available for download uh, so I know this was a quick tutorial, but it's actually pretty simple once you actually, you know, think about it. So I will see you guys next time. Peace. Let's try for 40 likes. All right. Peace.